What's up guys, today we're gonna do some night photography. We're gonna do a little versus. It's gonna be the Contax TVS-3 and the Minolta Maximum 5. I'm gonna be shooting Kodak 400 Portra and just comparing the photos. I really don't know what to expect out of this camera or the TVS at night. I'm gonna shoot and you guys are just gonna tag along and experience it with me, gang. You ready? One, two. Oh, it didn't even flash. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna flash that. There you go. Let's see. One, two, and... Did it flash? Yeah, yeah it flashed. Right, I'll take another one that didn't flash. Ready? One, two, and... Now do the peace sign. Lower hand. See how this come out. But Let me do a, just the, the whole scene here. Look at this guy. He's wearing contacts. Look at this guy. Alright, uh, now I gotta take the same photo. Fuck. This shit looks so cool. Oh, they gotta do some cinematic shit right here. You feel me? The contacts is a 30 to 60 zoom and the, the Minolta is 35 to 70, so it's a fair comparison with the zoom. You know, what you get out of a compact camera and what you get out of an SLR camera. Shooting auto. The whack thing about the contacts TVS 3 is that you have to hit the flash on. It's automatically off, which is good for other occasions, but for this, it's not. If I forget to hit the flash, I will shoot a photo at a slow speed and it will probably be shaky. So I have to remember to hit the flash on every single time I shoot. Just gonna do a wide shot. Can you step forward? That's yeah. fine. There you go. Dang. It's fresh. But I can get more of a distance. Let's dip down too. Alright. A little asymptomatic goes one, two, and put that car in the hoodie. Focus. Ready? One, two, and. This shit's probably fire. It's probably more fire than the content. I guess the benefit of the SLR versus the Contacts Compact is in this.
him all the And I'm reviewing the photos on my iPad and my laptop. Comparing the Minolta and the Contax TVS, the easy win to the Contax is the portability. It's a lot smaller than the, it's not a lot smaller, it's more pocketable because of how it's set up. This, you're kind of stuck, you can't fit this into a pocket. This slides in and out. Or even if you put it on a neck strap, it's not as heavy, you know. That's why you saw in the video that it was wearing it a lot. Another winning category for the Contax TVS is the contrast. It is a lot more contrasty if you're into that. If you want, you know, darker shadows and brighter highlights, then the Contax TVS is going to be the camera that you would choose in this scenario. But the Minolta overall had a lot better sharpness in the photos compared to the Contax because of the shutter speed is limited to 500 the f-stop on this was a lot lower or bigger apertures a lot wasn't in focus for the contacts and the minolta i was shooting auto but i feel like when it's doing auto it can stay up there it has a 2000 of a second speed it has a 1000 of a second speed so the minolta can have higher f-stops and then this which is at 500 of a second at max it's got to do a lower apertures as well if you're into that if you want to be more portrait kind of photos you know going out at night with your friends shooting having some fun this is definitely it but the Minolta is, is cheaper and it's not that much bigger I and mean, it's not that much heavier as well overall this is a great camera this is a very impressive camera the Minolta Maximum 5 is, is really winning me over I mean it, it won me over over the the Canon Elon 2 Another win for the Minolta is the flash. I feel like the contacts, when it would flash, it would kind of focus in the middle. You can see it the best in one of the photos where I was shooting at the wall and the text. All of the flash is kind of solid in the middle. And you can see it in the portrait as well. It's it, it makes a lot of areas in the middle white versus the Minolta, when it does the flash, it spreads out more evenly and you get a better exposed photo. So it looks, it's a lot more pleasing. I mean, for me, in general when i'm doing a scene i want the whole thing to be lit up i know with these compact cameras that is a look that people look for in the shikas uh the shika t4 the context t2 so if you're looking for that then this is definitely the camera for you i mean a photographer photographer's camera a quality even for the price you can get these for like five dollars which is what i got it for at a thrift store or online for like 20 40 bucks at max and this is just a standard 35 to 70 kit lens. So, I mean, this is a really, really good buy. This contacts right here, it cost me $300 online. I did buy it on eBay. And it's Carl Zeiss, it's all hype, mostly, you know. I, I'm a lot more pleased with how compact it is. It's easy to carry around. Just even now, comparing it to the Minolta, the compact size, portability size, doesn't factor in the quality, it's more the consistency that I'm gonna get out of this camera. The context, every now and then the photos were good. It's what you kind of get when you're at a compact camera, you're shooting and you, you know, you might get a great photo, you might get a terrible photo. With a Minolta, I feel more confident that the photo's gonna come out good. I'm gonna love that photo. It's also that viewfinder that I talked about as well. This kind of gives you just the frame, you're just framing. This gives you depth of field when you're focusing you feel more into the moment you feel a lot more into the photo when you're doing so the contacts tvs versus the minolta i would definitely ring this as the winner the contacts tvs 3 is not too far off but it's, it's all what you're looking for if you want a portable zoom camera with quality that are going to give you good results every now and then or okay results all the time this is definitely the camera for you. Some of my thoughts on it overall. Was, let me know what you think of the comparison of these two cameras. So thank you again, guys. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me turn this camera off. It keeps flashing. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, like it. If you comment, uh, let me know what your feedback is. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me which camera you like more, what camera you have experience shooting, which camera you don't. Let me know. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to your boy.